Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Greg from Lucas here with my cap today that's currently in the shot. You need to get out of the shot. And um, today we're going to be talking, okay, now her tail's in the shot. We're going to be reviewing this nice camera product here. It's called the KNF, I guess, Concept Lens Adapter. Uh, this one specifically is for Nikon uh, E mount to G or D or F or whatever adapter or Nikon. Nikon pretty, stays pretty consistent with their adapters. Um, sorry about my cat in the shot, but uh, we'll just make do with that today. She seems very affectionate as of this filming you know, of this video. But if many of you came from Nikon like me and decided to move to full frame like Sony A7, I can't afford the I can't afford the A7S, A7R, anything like that. Uh, very expensive cameras, especially the animal that's rubbing against it right now. Thinks it's a toy, but we're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy. I think I need to remove the cat off the bed because this could. She could get hairs in the in the in the bed. Okay. Let me just Oh she <laughs> She's not Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and You're very adorable today, but I'm filming. I'm I'm filming today. You're very adorable. Oh, okay. She's not okay. You, you, you have affection time down there, down there. Thank you. Th oh my. Okay. All right. All right. All right. That's enough. Sorry about that. So we don't latch it from here. Uh, it felt very cheap. Let's see. Let's see the money I pay for this thing, which I'll put a link in the description. See if it was worth it. Just a hollow adapter. There's no magnifying, no magnification, blah, magnification or anything like that. These are these are APS-C sensor size lenses on a full frame, so you could see that it might be a little bit wider than usual. Uh, the only cameras that suffer with the problem of putting uh, lenses that are not meant for them is Panasonic. Um, they suffer pretty bad. Uh, see if I can do this one handedly. So this is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab the adapter because I don't want to leave that exposed. There'll be a review on this bad boy here soon. Okay. So inside here, there should be a container. Uh, that's not it. That's for a Panasonic. Just open up this bag. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, yep, that's it. That's it right there. Um, whenever you take off a lens off of your camera, you gotta be very, very delicate. Um, especially when it's a full frame sensor, that's a thousand dollars. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece off. This goes probably straight to the body. This, no, this goes to the body. So remove that right now. I kind of noticed on the sensor, there's a fingerprint smear on there. That kind of pisses me off. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean that off. So I'm gonna tell you this, when you get an open box deal at Best Buy, please for the love of God, watch the sensor. I just cleaned it, there was a fingerprint smear on there. I got lucky that the camera works just fine, but that's not okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the adapter on now. Should click on like that. I don't know how to put this adapter on, to be honest with you. Okay, the red dot aligns with the white dot right here. Correct, yeah, there you go, I'm learning. And then we go ahead and grab the Nikon lens. That goes onto the red dot right there. There you go. Now that is a behemoth. Now I gotta put the Sony adapter back on to here and protect this lens. That's worth a lot of money. Oh, and this is base model to some people. So, you know, money tight when I can't even afford the base model. But yeah, this, here you go. This is it. Here is the Sony with this adapter on. And if you ever get one of these open box or get them used, ooh. I like that sound. It, it, that, that felt really good, actually, not gonna lie. Let me grab a battery real quick. I'll be doing a review on these soon, these Wasabi batteries, I'll put that in. Do I have an SD card in? No, I do not. Okay. So used to uh Nikon where it's side mounted. Okay, just because I don't use this anymore doesn't mean I get to abuse it. I'll just oh fits cool. Put that on there. 
turn on the camera, see if it complains. Oh. Okay, after some adjusting, you have to put APS-C crop on. It does not look good on iPhone, but I'm going to go ahead and get some test footage with, it, with this thing on. Uh, yeah, you, you're going to have to crop the sensor if we're going to be using these adapters. If you if you have money for days, then go ahead and grab a Metabones. But uh, this is something just to get by with until uh, I fully transition over to Sony lenses. Um, Nikon's not bad at all, very sharp. And so now I'm going to go ahead and mess around with the camera. And thank you for watching this video. Adapter feels pretty good, not gonna lie. Uh, it feels quality, but just enable APS-C crop before you start, because then you'll flip out and then you'll return it. And Amazon, get that poor seller battery review, but in reality, it's just the settings of the camera. So I got it now, and uh, it works just, just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start filming, and just, my favorite part's this. It tells you the, how wide and closed aperture can be. This is for those people that are amateur, um, so. Definitely cool. Very honestly, it did come in a nice box and did feel very high quality. So I'll give it that. But now it's time for me to go through a rigorous amount of tests and see if this was definitely worth putting your Nikon's onto a Sony.